Forex Trading Course 101. Remember, I have a 20 seconds delay on the chat. And remember the three pillars, strategy, pillar number one, the strategy and or the system. We are trying to build that. Pillar number two, risk management. And pillar number three, the psychology part. If this is your first time, we are in the beginner module. We are talking about trend, trend lines, support, resistance, pivot points, candlestick formations. We are not in the basic module anymore. Hello Miguel, how are you? So if this is your first time, please go back on the Ducascope, Ducascope YouTube channel and try to watch all the webinars. Crystal Ball, <laughs> hello Max, <laughs> how are you? And remember, 90% of traders lose money in the forex market worldwide. And there is disclaimer, the webinars are not investment or trading advice. The webinars are for the educational purposes only. Either way, don't trade with money you cannot afford to lose. And for homeworks and or questions, you have my Gmail contact, my Skype contact and my LinkedIn contact. Hello Annie, that being said, Let's dive to the live markets. And today, bullish and bearish candlestick formations in a sideways channel. Passion, I like you. You are smart and very beautiful. Oh, thank you. You are beautiful. <laughs> Max, you are beautiful too, okay? <coughs> and USD CHF. Trading opportunity, everybody. This is the daily chart and remember these webinars are not trading or investment advice. Tell me what you see everybody. What you see? Do you see a downtrend? Do you see a, an uptrend? Yes, Max, you are <laughs> beautiful too. We are beautiful, aren't we? Yes. <clears throat> So, bullish and bearish candlestick formation. We said that in an uptrend as beginners, as a beginner trader, in an uptrend, it doesn't matter structure or short term trend, we should only buy bullish candlestick formations and never sell. As beginners, as a beginner trader, then we said that there is a second tradable environment which is the downtrend and we said well in a downtrend we should never buy as beginners but we can always sell bearish candlestick formations it is a joke no it's not not a joke <laughs> max why a joke victor says sideways Yes, sir. And we said that we have uh, the third tradable market environment for my market behavior. And it's the sideways movement, right? Sideways movement where we can, in theory, sell bearish candlestick formations when they touch the upper band and buy bullish candlestick formation formations when they touch when the market touch the lower band okay sideways uptrend after the last low no we are in uptrend hello silas we are sideways everybody we are sideways for the time being i don't know what is going to happen in the future only max knows but so far we are sideways okay so we have a shorting opportunity and remember these webinars are not trading or investment advice i'm not giving you advice now oh enter the market okay i am short i'm short on usdchf okay and remember entries are just part of the game you need to manage the trade okay we don't know what is going to happen we don't know maybe the market is going to reach 
this low maybe the market is going to find some level of past support right and then start to move up and up and up now is retracement or extension I never can understand what is retracement and extension Max please don't get me wrong but go back and watch the past webinars okay we cannot go back and I'm going to give you a quick tip but go back and watch the webinars again and again and again you give advice and all we lose I don't give advice okay those webinars are for educational purposes I don't give advice no sir some of you want me to aha uh -huh. no 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 you need to learn and be responsible for your trading if you are going to make pips then it's you it's not oh it's oh thank you FX passion no, no it, it's you it's not me we are just teaching you but you are responsible for your profits and for your losers okay now max every trend every structure starts with an extension and then goes with the retracement and then go in the extension okay every trend uptrend or downtrend starts with an, ex with an extension and you are going to see on the smaller scale a short term downtrend and then a short term uptrend where by the rules the retracement must be smaller or shorter it cannot be bigger or longer if you want to use another word okay and the same goes in an uptrend starts with the extension first you are going to see a short term uptrend then a change in the short term trend okay but you are going to have the same rules ok Max but go back and watch the webinars over and over and over again ok we are not in the basic module anymore ok so <clears throat> George, are you here, George? George, are you here? Okay. So, USDCHF, right? Monthly chart, monthly chart. Let's wait. I always forgot the name of the first line. Extension. Extension, retracement, extension, retracement. So this is the monthly chart, we are kind of sideways, right? Different areas, different levels, right? So, there is no right or wrong. Upper band, lower band, upper band, lower band, upper band. So, long term bias is down. Okay, long term. Of course, anything and everything can happen in here but the long-term bias is down right this is the monthly chart my mind cannot remember you need to study you need to study nobody can remember who in here knows the 21 3 percent rule everybody who in here knows the 21 3 percent rule it's scientifically proven it's not open to debate it's a scientific fact Max is not joking my mind cannot remember if you don't use what you learn today in 21 days you are going to have only a 3% recall of today's lesson this is why I'm telling you watch the webinars over and over and over again not for five minutes the entire hour because if you don't use it how is the saying going in English if you don't use it you are going to lose it long term means that the trade can list a few days no uh, Victor great question no long term means that in between can do anything it wants before it's fall it falls but it can it can last few days a few weeks a few months but we are okay 
if you are going to check those are the monthly candles okay those are the monthly candles it's not the perfect example but you're going to see that they are sideways right monthly candles the market the bears push down then go up the bulls then the bulls enter go up then the bears go down then the bulls push up close the candle right okay no guarantees whatsoever but maybe we are sideways right now how to trade bullish and bearish candlestick formations in a sideways movement well we are in we are shorting the market right now wow why well i'm not i'm not sure if george is here but we have confirmation one two three four right one two three four so we have a confirmed sideways movement okay george always says oh but you don't see i said well sometimes we don't see but sometimes we do and this is an example where we don't have the crystal ball right okay now i didn't went long in here i didn't went long in here because in my opinion in my opinion i don't have the crystal ball in my opinion the market should go down the market touched the upper band and in the long term should fall so for me as a trader is risky going long okay and i'm not telling you that i'm right you are wrong you know we can go both we can go long short and everything in between there will be few few years to go to the lowest band even better more time more money it's funny what you are said because i am studying a course about memory and they said the same what you just said wow victor is this course online or it's a book or it's a, on youtube is it free i am long okay no problem just manager trade entries are just part of the game no problem most likely the beginner traders they don't like sideways movement the sideways channel but if you can understand and learn if you have enough capital you can enter prematurely and you are going to win either way right no guarantees whatsoever but you need to have what patience and stamina to endure when the market goes against you okay so let's go back and where are we NZD JPY, NZD CAD, Canada CHF, USD JPY not here this one let me see is it this one so exit full screen let me see oh there you go there you go okay let's wait to refresh so this is why we are shorting the market there you go and on the two hour chart let's delete everything so it was the daily daily chart right let's delete 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 everything delete 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 everything and anything so this was the other oh let's open another one no problem there you go so this is the what's that the daily chart so this is the monthly right and this is the daily again short line somewhere in here right went up and clone there you go color and again color there you go transparency yes sir there you go
passion I cannot hear you nor see you well give me a second Okay, there you go. So we have a confirmed sideways channel, right? So this is it, and this is it. Passion, I still cannot hear you. Check, check. Well, the settings are right. So maybe it's on your side, everybody. Okay, maybe. Ah, you rocket. Okay. Bye bye. You rocket. Okay. Bye bye. Not this one. Oh my god, what is this? Aeroplane. Euro dollar. Bye bye. Two hours. There you go. No need to pay in the coal mine valley. <laughs> Any Miguel Crystal Ball Victor Sales and the Forex Beginners. Yes, sir. Can you hear me, everyone? Yes, okay, great. So, this was the strategy for uh, from a few days ago. Oh, let me see every chat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Beautiful voice. <laughs> like Sinatra, okay, audio, okay. There you go. Can you see my screen, everybody? Can you see my screen? Audio is perfect, great. Can you see my screen? Okay, so I'm going to enter the trade only when I see counter trend line break in the direction of the short term trend or structure, bearish candlestick formation on my trading time frame. Okay, I'm going to delete this, delete and delete. So this is the strategy part. Now, just maybe we said we are sideways. There you go. And something like this. And clone. There you go. Okay. Okay, great. Okay, so George is not here and one, two, three, four, right? So one, two, three, four. Now, of course, we don't have the crystal ball. And tell me everybody, is this or is this not a bearish candlestick formation in here? Give advice to get money, not more talking about forks, only money, money, money. Give advice, not for. I don't know, Max. Okay, what is this? Is this a bearish candlestick formation, everybody? Right? So, bullish and bearish candlestick formation in a sideways channel. Well, we said, right, that you can go long if you want. This is the bullish candlestick formation where the sideways movement was not confirmed. This is the bearish engulfing candle where the sideways was not confirmed. Engulfing, yes, it's kind of a mix, Miguel, mix between engulfing candle and you have two long wicks up in here, you know, the tweezer tops, right? Okay, now where should the stop loss go? Right, so let me check in here sideways movement somewhere in here stop loss everybody should go oh where is the text stop loss should go stop let's write stop loss should go 15 pips above above the cf candlestick formation Okay, 
not the line this time okay but 15 pips so if you are late to the party okay maybe you are late maybe you aren't late but if you short right now well if this is the high of the candle somewhere in here let me see if this is the high of the hand of the candle 9983 so the the stop loss is going to be 9993 somewhere in here from the daily standpoint okay so this is one and clone right not the best risk reward ratio not the best one you are not going to get completely two but you if you enter right now you are going to risk one and you are going to get one and a half okay bearish engulfing yes yes but the tweezer top have smaller body yes miguel but the picture is theory this is the live market what do long weeks symbolize they symbolize that the bears were pushing up the price and then the bears pushed down the price see those are the long weeks so bears are moving up be, uh, bulls are moving up bears are pushing down bulls are moving up bears again are pushing down and finally in the last breath the bears pushed up and then the the bulls I'm sorry the bulls pushed up and the bears smacked the bulls you know so in theory yes okay this is a mix okay for sure this is a bearish engulfing okay maybe not the best wizard tops nonetheless everybody this is the trading opportunity remember entries are just part of the game okay you need to manage your trade and you are responsible these webinars are not trading or investment advice okay now what is dangerous danger what has a degree of technical risk that as a beginner trader we need to address is that sideways movement is part right sideways movements are part of the trend many times okay and there is no right or wrong if you want to risk more or have more technical risk you can buy bullish candlestick formations okay you can buy bullish candlestick formations in an uptrend and you can also sell bearish candlestick formations in an sideways channel not uptrend sideways channel but this sideways channel is a structural part of an overall general uptrend happens all the time NZD CAD is one example AUD CAD is other example okay so when you find in here you need to check what is happening if this is the monthly chart right this is why we are telling you need to know the why the where and the how so if this is the daily chart or the four hour chart or the two hour chart or the one hour chart then technically speaking the less risk are going to have the buy orders buy bullish candlestick formation passion why is that well it's common sense right it's common sense we are in an uptrend can i show can i go short yes you can of course but talking about probabilities right especially where let's delete this one this one especially when everybody extension retracement especially when you have a sideways channel near the first or the second extension especially in here if you are going to short the market okay don't mix apples with bananas those are two different things right now and I'm going to give you a third different thing okay 
So extension retracement extension. So this is the uptrend and the sideways movement appeared in here in between. So technically speaking the market can go deeper, right? The market can do a lower retracement. So this is one. You can go you can go short, you can go long. You can buy bullish candlestick formations, you can go short, you can sell bearish candlestick formations. In here, this is a different story because we are almost at the end of the retracement. So if the market is, is going to move up, the structure and the market wave, if you are going to short the market, yes you can, absolutely. But you are taking unnecessary risk. Okay, why is that? Because those are the rules of the market wave. If the market is going to continue its, its uptrend, it cannot break the structural low. So sooner or later, it's going to break up. Okay, it's a must. It's not that it should. It's not that it could, it's a must. It cannot wave other way. Right? This is this is simple, right? Uh, extension, extension, retracement, extension. But this is theory. It's beautiful, yes. But in practice you go up, 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 deep retracement, sideways movement. Can I go short in here? Yes I can, but just be aware that sooner or later, if the structure, if the market wave is to continue, is going to break the sideways movement on the upper side. So, talking about technical risk, it's better to buy bullish candlestick formations in here than to sell, than to go short with bearish in here. Okay? So, this is one. This is the second and I'm going to give you a third, a different one, which is similar with the number one. There you go, it's the same, the same, the same. Okay. Now you have the sideways movement, sideways channel in here, right? Now, what if the third example is the monthly chart where you have the monthly bands? What now? This is the upper band, this is the lower band. Okay, arrow. Let's color code the arrow in blue. So, talking with Doc, Brexit and the money. Interesting video, Brexit. So, don't mix apples with bananas. This is one example, one scenario. You are going to have different technical risk and different probabilities. This is the second scenario, okay, you are going to have different risk and different probability. And this is the third scenario. What do you think everybody? What is less risky? Shorting the market, selling bearish candlestick formations or buying the market, buying bullish candlestick formations? What do you think? And remember, I have a 20 seconds delay on the chat. <coughs> what do you think, Miguel, Eni, Silas, Victor? There is no right or wrong. You can say, oh, let's buy, let's go long. Long, you can say, I don't know. Let's go short. Short says any. Right, short, yes. Why is that? Well, because we are. Yes, we are. Oh, yes, of course, because we are. Miguel, buy bullish. No, sir. No, long, no. No. 
N Z now let's talk about A U D J P Y A U D J P Y monthly chart lower risk sell of course of course see everybody this is A U D J P Y monthly chart the lower band and the upper band okay now you don't have the crystal ball neither do I right okay now you would one one okay so if you would short and manage your trade you would win one okay you would win one okay if you would go low you if you would go long you would win one okay no problem if you would go short you would win one yes but sooner or later when you would go long you would lose yes we are at the monthly top everybody this is lesson number one basic 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 from the monthly chart when the currency pair hits the upper band or breaks the upper band go short don't buy sideways movement here okay NZD CAD monthly chart okay passion but you said that we can yes you can but if you are my trader working in my hedge fund and I see you buying bullish candlestick formations in here I'm going to ask you well why are you buying at the top of the monthly chart okay when and where you learn that the long term bias is down oh but I want to make pips and money okay me too but you are taking unnecessary risk in here better less technical risk is to go short to go short right to go short and let's dive in let's zoom in this price movement in here okay let's move in daily let me see if I can compress the chart where is it okay great let's zoom in this is the monthly chart now we are in the on the daily right and this is the sideways movement so far somewhere in here somewhere in here okay now sometimes you would win but nonetheless you would lose right why would you like to why would you like to lose if you know that long-term bias is down why would you take you know short 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 yes but passion it's always uh, long long until here it's a fact everybody at least as it happened on the CAJF JPY until the two governments are not going to break their contracts it's proven this is one of the characteristic of the forex market it's going to break down and you are going to lose so and if you are a complete beginner okay but otherwise this is a mistake which is not okay because if you are going to buy here and you are going to lose oh losers happens not this kind of losers you know that long term bias from the monthly it touched the upper band this is how the forex market works until proven contrary or otherwise the AUDJPY must fall and the cat must fall these kind of mistakes are not okay everybody so any and every and Silas and everybody else who are saying well 
it's better to go short because the market touched the upper band right and again some of you are saying yes but we are sideways it doesn't matter it doesn't matter you need to address the technical risk this entry is not the same compared to this entry and those two entries are not the same compared to this entry you need to address the time frame and you need to address the level or the area of the extension or the retracement those are not the same okay don't mix apples and what strawberries if you want okay now the market is falling this is our trade these webinars are not trading or investment advice okay now AUDJPY and looking here different example different example we're going to check we didn't have and we still don't have the crystal ball but in some point in time this market was like this guess which on the smaller scale right you can go on the two hour chart on the one hour chart on the four hour chart or on the daily chart guess which one had less risk the bullish candlestick formations or the bearish which one and we can go on the daily okay now many times some of you are asking passion but we should stay out why I I want to buy in here uh, I'm not crazy that I'm going to stay out well so I'm crazy ah huh? <laughs> you know professional traders are not taking unnecessary risks okay so I stayed out this is the daily chart Miguel I'm going to answer to you in just a second so I stay I stayed out for what one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. I stayed out. I patiently waited for a month. I didn't go long in here. I'm not saying that I'm right and the uh, other trader is wrong, but I stayed out 30 days. Right? And now I'm shorting the market. So the question is yes sometimes especially on the bigger time frames don't I mean professional traders don't take unnecessary risks but if the channel is part of the trend that we should aim to the direction of the original trend yes Miguel you are absolutely right monthly chart excluded Miguel monthly chart excluded when the monthly chart hits the upper band I don't care what you need to reverse your positions you can have the Fibonacci pointing up the stochastic pointing up the Ichimoku pointing up the super JP Morgan Chase pointing up even Max's ball is pointing up reverse your positions it's time to go short and you have proven here you don't need to believe me go check the currency pairs okay now uh, and this those are the rules until sometime is going to happen that the two countries are going to break the contracts and are going to find the two different bands so from 2003 to 2012 this was the band right so we were buying shorting buying shorting go long go short until here i lost two trades in here i have two i had two losing trades in here 
Why is that? Because the two countries break. I mean, they broke the original contract. So this is the new band right now. Guess what? Guess where this market is going? Guess it. I mean, it should go up or it should go down. What is the long-term bias? Right? In between, can do anything it wants. But guess where this market is going to go long term? Bullish candle formation present a lower risk. Yes, Miguel says, oh, I agree with the monthly. Okay. So, now this is the AUDJPY, right? We know that from the monthly standpoint, the market hit the lower band, right? And we are here right now. How are we going to trade this? Right? And if you want to take both sides of the trade, no problem. I'm just telling you that in this case, as Miguel said, in this case, the sideways movement is a part of the general trend. In this case, this is AUDJPY daily chart. The long trades have and had less technical risk. Why is that? It's common sense. It's common sense. Number one and the most important is because the market touched the lower band from the monthly. This is going to determine the long term bias. And the second is we are in a short term uptrend. This is the why. Okay, so one, two, three, let's say, okay. Now, in where you are in an uptrend, right? And you don't see the sideways movement, the sideways channel, right? What we're going to do? Well, what do we have? We have from the daily we have extension and then we have retracement right extension retracement and we don't have the crystal ball right we would wait for what we we don't have a confirmed sideways movement not yet but we are in an uptrend so if this is the AUD JPY this is the daily chart and this is the counter trend line let's color code this in black something like this right some of you would buy this is a bullish candlestick formation right and this is the bullish candlestick formation so we would enter buying the market up in here okay stop loss 15 pips below the entry somewhere in here okay and let's take the right so the market moving sideways retest 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 our bullish candlestick formations and again we would enter again right bullish bullish engulfing candle and moving sideways okay sideways finally moving sideways and finally the market is moving up and up and up and we would monitor we would manage the trade monitor the market first until here right and then we would adjust the uptrend line. Now, this was the uptrend, the short term uptrend, right? Counter trend line break, we are out. Now, some of you are asking, can we short the market? Well, yes, you can. This was the uptrend line break. You would short the market here, right? But again, 
you can do this but from the technical standpoint from the technical standpoint of the market wave or the uptrend and from the monthly standpoint this is the monthly right you can go short yes sir no problem but you are taking risky trades oh passion but the market is falling yes but it, it's easy for us to talk right now because we can see the future it's easy right now to be intelligent and smart oh yes i would i would short the market in here because i know nobody knows okay but if you are my trader at my firm i would ask you why did you short up in here or why did we, why did you short up in here what are you going to tell me oh i short the market because i know it's sideways movement uh, no problem maybe it is sideways movement but why are you increasing your technical risk right because sooner or later it's just a matter of time and you are going to lose because this is how the market works this is how the market waves in practice we, should we get out before the big fall Miguel you are not going to see this the big fall you are not going to see this because maybe you are sleeping maybe this happens when it's 3 in the morning in Spain but this is exactly what we are talking about right looking here I entered short congratulations you just lost why did you enter short in here oh but the market broke the uptrend line so what we are in an up structure in the short uptrend right now if you are a professional we can debate oh i entered a counter trend trade okay you entered here consciously taking a risky trade this is another story but if you are a beginner enter high probability trades okay Miguel, to answer yourself, it's all about risk reward ratio. So if I entered in here and this is my risk, just graphically, and this is my risk, let me see if we get to two. Clown, one, clown, two. Just graphically. Okay, we didn't get to two, right? We didn't get to two. But if you would cancel and replace your stop, this is a, this is a technique that we learned. And like this, close. Where is the? Okay, if you would cancel and replace your stop, you would be closing your trading here. But then you would need to re-enter. The stop loss was not hit. Yes, no, the original stop loss was not hit. It's down here. The market didn't hit our stop loss. And the daily chart is just an example, everybody. This could be the two hour chart, the four hour chart, the 15 minute chart. Okay? Don't enter. Don't enter. Where is the picture? In here don't enter trades I mean as a trader you can always choose right but if you know that some trades are going to have less technical risk why would you enter trades with a high technical risk and I'm <laughs> yes and I'm going to tell you why because we are greedy this is the answer greed we are greedy we don't want to wait for a month 
on the USDJPY to enter a less risky trade we are greedy that's why we want as beginner traders especially we want to buy everything and sell everything we are greedy okay professional traders they are comparing the different areas of the sideways movement they know about the market structure how the market works and between one two and three they are choosing different directions and different rates okay questions is it clear everybody about the sideways movement and about the bullish and bearish it's not all the same oh passion but it's the same no it's not it's not the same it, uh, it appears it's the same but it's not the same okay in the books and seminars and webinars you are going they're going to teach you that it's the same oh just buy bullish candlestick formations down here and short in here it's not the same believe me I mean it's common sense it's not it's not that easy to understand questions Okay, homework until tomorrow. Euro dollar, Euro USD. Euro USD daily chart. Euro dollar daily chart. How are you going to trade this supposedly sideways movement? Okay? not confirmed yet but if this is the sideways movement how are you going to trade this this is the homework till tomorrow okay what is less risky is less risky to short the market when it touches the upper band or it's or is less risky to go long when it touches the lower band and why if you learn everything and anything you know that in some point in time the market is going to break out of this consolidation and also the long term direction is clear so can I can you short and go long yes you can but one type of trades are going to have less technical risk the other type of trades are going to have more technical risk I find worse fear says Miguel but we have to live with both yes true that is returning to the wave pattern yes ok everybody our time is up so this is the homework choose in your opinion send me an email what do you think is less risky to go short or to go long okay and the daily is not the perfect let's go on the four hour time frame mm, maybe two hour time frame let's see not from the daily but two hour time frame okay okay what is less risky we are going to trade on the two hour time frame what is less risky to go longer to go short short is less risky okay why why is shorting the market less risky any <laughs> send me an email okay don't say it in the chat send me the email okay everybody our time is up stay strong and trade with passion this is fx passion signing off